Hello and welcome to my stop on the Craft Collabs Suicide Awareness Video Hop. I am Karen Hashik and I'm honored to be part of this effort to stop the stigma around mental illness and suicide. I'm also honored to be part of the Dyes to Design For design team and consider the owner, Stacy, a friend of mine. Each of us is sharing a card in this video hop made with dyes from the new September release at Dyes to Die For in purple and teal, the awareness ribbon colors for suicide prevention. Stacy lost her husband to mental illness when she was a mother to a three- four and seven year old. She shares her personal story often to help stop the stigma and in the hopes of helping someone who is dealing with grief and or mental illness. I lost my brother Dave to mental illness a little more than eight years ago and I still miss him every day. In my description box are links to several websites where you can find help and resources if you or a loved one is struggling with mental illness or suicide, or if you want to find a way to help. Hashtag Stop the Stigma. Our sponsor, Dies to Die For at ShopScrapbook101.com has generously donated four $25 gift cards to four lucky randomly chosen commenters along this video hop. The more comments you leave, the better your odds of winning. See my description box for more information. I'm also offering a prize to one luck, lucky commenter on my video, and I'll share more information on that prize and how you can win it at the end of my video. You are encouraged to subscribe to all the creators on this video hop as you comment, but it is not required to be one of the winners. Here is the card that I'm going to show you how to make in my video. It is a 5x7 bay window card and I learned how to make this version in a video by Sam of Mixed Up Crafts. Now all the dies you see on this card are from Dies to Die For and a, a special September release. And there's a link to that page um, in my description box. As you can see, the bay window card stands up for display, but it will also lay flat to mail in a 5 by 7 envelope. So it stands up and then uh, again can uh, ship uh, mail in a 5 by 7 envelope. I um, also used the gorgeous random oval die on the back of this card to frame a place where you can write your personal message. Here is my template for a 5x7 bay window card. Now I will go through the steps um, how to make this card but I'm and I will post a picture of this template in, um, on my blog, there's a link in the description box. So um, you're going to start with two pieces of five by seven cardstock. So five tall, seven wide, two pieces. And um, one will be the back. And then of course, one is the front. And um, I'm gonna score, show you, but we score at one half inch, two and a half inches, four and a half inches and six and a half inches and then that will stand up and create the bay window. The um, layering pieces that go on top here are one and three quarters by four and three quarters and you cut three of them. Um, and then these pieces are one quarter inch by four and three quarters inches and you cut two of them. So two skinny strips and then three for there. And I've used a real pretty designer paper from Stamping Up for my card. So I have uh, taken the first five by seven piece and I've prepared the back just to save a little time. So again, there's that pretty oval and they I could, or someone can sign um, their uh, name and write a note on that piece. Then the other piece will be the front of the card. And we are going to score that, and I wrote it here too, at one half inch, at two and a half inches, 
at four and a half inches and at six and a half. But what I like to do is just flip it and do it again at one half inches. That just seems easier uh, to me. And then we're going to fold on those lines that we just scored and these two no, I was wrong. Um, these two on the on the sides we're going to fold down. Oh, yep, down in uh, and then no, nope, these are up. <laughs> okay, the side ones are up, and these here are down in uh, mountain folds. I'll show you that better. All right, so this is these are. Uh, valley folds and these are mountain folds and the two center ones are um, and that is how you're going to create your bay window now I have um, done this in advance to save a little time and I took those designer pieces um, that I described which were four and three quarters by one and three quarters and attach them along the front three middle three and then the two skinny ones there and then I took an oval die and I die cut out the center of that piece and this is ready to go so I am going to attach this piece to the front here. I think I should put on this piece first. Okay, so I have uh, die cut out the random oval and I am going to glue this around the oval opening. But I can put glue only on the outside edges here um, to do that. So we're only going to put glue along the outside edges. down just the outside edges of that pretty random oval die and then I am going to fold oh, I better let that sit a minute while I let that sit a minute I will show you that I have also die cut the layered in loving memory that's going to go on the inside and I've die cut a small swirl and I have on the back of this um, the easy cut adhesive sheets uh, that will make it very easy to attach that. I also attach those words from a new die set in the September release with the easy cut adhesive. Now I'm going to fold this die cut along the scored lines so it too will fold when we have our bay window up. I have put score tape on one side only. I don't want this one to be attached with score tape but on this side I do. And I'm going to line it up along the left side and attach it. 
I have also prepared the side swirl. Yes, okay. Um, I have die cut that beautiful swirl from dies to die for, and I also die cut it out of the white piece, and I inlaid it in there, and um, put this white piece back, um, and then I just used regular tape on the back to hold that together. I have put some um, pop squares from dies to die for on the back of this um, piece. And um, but I didn't want it to be close to this edge because we want to be able to tuck this under. On the first one that I made, I didn't move those pop squares over far enough. It's going to work. It does work, but it would be better if that tucked just a little better. So um, I want this side to be. I better turn it around here. So this is the inside. Yes, okay. I'm going to line this up with the side and the top and the bottom. And I made this piece a little big on purpose just to make sure that it um, it's better to make them a little big than a little small. And I'm just going to trim this side off. And now you can see that that is going to tuck and stand up, and it will tuck inside there. Now, um, we are going to be looking through this window to see the um, words. So um, we're going to plan when it is open to have those to be readable. But I do want to be able to um, close it and still read it as well. And then we're going to put the swirl right underneath. So if we put them there, when it's open we can read them, and when it's closed we should be able to read it. That's a little hard to do. Let's open it up to do that. In. Loving. Doesn't that always happen during a video? <laughs> you run out. <clears throat> In loving memory. And I haven't pressed those down real firmly. I just want to be sure that you can read it when it's open and also when it's closed, which you can. And then this piece here is very skinny, but it is on... And we're going to put that little flourish right underneath. And so our words are easily read. And then I have some of the small butterflies from that same release. Um, already with glue dots on, so um, I'm going to add um, some glue dots here, I mean some butterflies. Some of the butterflies have a side view and some are flat. And then on the inside, we're going to add some of the, some more of the butterflies. One more over here. 
here and then on the front we're going to put three more around the oval So our lovely stand-up bay window card is complete. You can see the words through the oval opening in, lovely, in loving memory. The card stands up, will lay flat to mail, and has a place on the back to write a personal message. I hope um, my card will encourage you to give this idea and some of the products a try. You can win this card along with this set of two dies from Dies to Die For, valued at $34, by commenting on my video before midnight on Friday, September 10th, 2021. To qualify in your comment, you must tell me where you live in the United States. I'm sorry I can mail to a U.S. address only. One random winner will be chosen from the comments that qualify, and I will leave a comment on your comment telling you that you won and asking for your mailing address so to be emailed to me. Please stop back and check your comment right after September 11th to see if you are the winner. If you want to be sure I can reach you with the news of your win, you can leave your email address in your comment as well. If I do not hear back from the winner before September 21st, 19, 2021, I will draw another random winner. Thanks for stopping by this stop on the Suicide Awareness Video Hop, and be sure to see my description box for the next link to the next video.